Welcome back to the charismatic voice. I simply cannot get enough of Ronnie James Dio. He is for me one of the greatest singers of all genres of all time. So I asked you which Dio song I should do next. And your most recommended that I have not yet done is the last in line. Surprisingly, this also is Dio's only song to hit the top 10 of Billboard's album rock tracks. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before we go away, it's called The Last in Line. You all can just tell by my face how much I love his singing. And it's it's more than just the vocal technique. It's the way that the moment he starts singing, you feel this warm message. It sounds like he's so loving and kind in the way that he sings to everyone that's listening. It's just it's really, really beautiful. I think he's one of the most generous singers. Um, in addition to being one of the best. <laughs> so it's gorgeous. And technically, it's it's astounding. There's so many little things. He's so playful. Like He has so many options for what he can do. And I really noticed in the first minute of this song, especially how he was playing with the dynamics, I thought it was cool. In the intro, he had a sound. It was kind of like an ah, uh, uh, you know, nondescript vowel, essentially. And it just sounded like emotion coming out of him. And it had a, a surge as well. So that dynamic of going from soft to louder and then and then back softer. And a few other times um, in that first verse, I think, um, he was doing similar surges, playing with this um, this loud, soft, and, and then suddenly fading away. And then all of a sudden, right about where I stopped here, the sudden loud was great. It's so much dynamic play right from the beginning. Let's go back. <laughs> It's so, I love the longing in that moment. He just captures it so perfectly. It's great. Tiny slide off of that too. Yeah. He like does like a little um it almost is it if it was done by anybody else, it might sound like a creepy wind floating by. And instead the slide down the way he does it, it sounds really comforting. I'm so amazed by how he can put so much warmth and heart and generosity into sound. I love the power. 
power in that note, accompanied with that grit. And I love the even vibrato as well. So much to love. One more time on that. It's I didn't expect it to get this heavy and this, he almost has a gnarly edge up there, right? I think it started off so soothing and then all of a sudden it feels like it kicked into fifth gear. It was really driving, driving, driving. I was also thinking about the lyrics as they're going by. I love the way that they um, set home as that really long first held out note as that's the one that, you know, you're really going for. And, and then here, this idea of we're off to the witch and the magic that we'll feel and the, uh, the immersion of this intensity and this excitement to go to the switch is kind of cool. <laughs> Get me to go back a little bit. We're off to the witch. Yeah. We may never, <laughs> never, never come home. But the magic that we feel when it's worth the right time. We're all bound upon the cross. We're all thrown before all the toss. You can release yourself. The only way is down. And I love that side too. It's on the word down. And you hear it both in the guitar and his voice with that grit as well. Ugh, 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 so good. The only way is Really quickly, great backing vocals in there too. And I want to take a moment to appreciate his phrasing. I love the way that he has, uh, it sounds like sentences at times, right? That just will continue on. And uh, and he very clearly has clear punctuation in the sentences as well. If you go along in, in the lyrics and you see how he's paying attention to the musical phrasing and the phrasing that would be naturally in a sentence. It's pretty fascinating. I encourage all of you to go grab these lyrics, watch this video all the way through without any interruptions whatsoever, and look at how he's phrasing the sentences within the music. Because I'm soul singing. <laughs> I felt like I was at church for a moment. It's like it's like Mariah Carey hopped into his throat for just a moment. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and we said so the truth. We could die for all the truth. The thrill of just a chase, it's what the pain. We're out for the first time. If we're leaving on a mic with the last in line, we're the last in line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need this, this last run the way he 
shifts his mouth through it and all of this going mmm at the end is so delightful and fun to hear. In operatic scores, you get runs sometimes and you'll just see ah the whole time or they'll be it'll be extended in the middle of one word and you essentially get one vowel the whole time. And if you're a good artist, hopefully you make that vowel come alive with different kinds of emotion, ideas behind it. So you get the idea that maybe these notes aren't just notes, but they're expressions of emotion, right? And with Dio here, I just adore that he gets to this, to these ending little ornamentations, elaborations of emotion, if you will. And he says, mm, no way, I'm not going to stick to one vowel. I'm... Mm. <laughs> It's so much when he chews on it, right? <laughs> much emotion with just a little bit of sound. It's a cool riff. That sharp at the end, that was cool. <laughs> that was such a cool compositional moment. That makes sense that you're saying I'm never gonna give up, right? Never, 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 never. Just repeating it like that, that makes total sense. And the way that he did it, and kept it in the same position here the whole time, so we didn't feel any drop in energy or placement of sound as he was going through it. I love that he pointed, because that's a really good way to try and keep your sound going through the same area, but it also is a really great way to engage your audience. He probably doesn't need the point to help them with keeping his sound in line at this point, let's be real. But if you're practicing this yourself, sometimes you can help to just point and say, I'm gonna go that spot. My voice is gonna go there the entire time so I stay consistent in the sound. It was so consistent. Um, I love the N and the V pronunciation through there. It's hard to keep the same amount of energy going through Ns and Vs as vowels. Vowels naturally are gonna transmit a little bit easier the sound uh, or your mouth is open, so the sound just flows out. And Ns and Vs have to flow through obstructions, essentially in your vocal tract, so you have to go a little more energy often to keep them in line with everything. It's so good. <laughs> There's been a few times now when he's sung a note and it's just a teensy bit sharp on the pitch. This is a good thing. Uh, I often feel when I hear somebody singing, especially with a little bit of vibrato in there, a little bit sharp on the center of the pitch, it evokes a lot of excitement. And um, 
sometimes, you know, with all, all of autotune melodyne, I understand the need and the reason for it uh, in a lot of cases, but sometimes I just miss this organic sharpness when a person is excited or when they're um, bringing extra passion into the song. So on line right here, he went just a little, little bit above there. I think it's totally on purpose. I've heard it a few other times in the song as well. Uh, he's got amazing pitch. He can be wherever he wants to. He just gives it like a little extra edge there. And that makes my heart pump faster um, just because it's so good. It's wonderful. It evokes so much more emotion than just being perfectly in tune all the time. <laughs> gonna nerd out for a little moment here about the L. Just try and say an L right now, go L, and feel how that is in your mouth. It's um, it's kind of a strange consonant, same way I was talking about the N's and the V's, never, never. Those are both a little easier to get lots of energy into. And L, uh, it, it doesn't let as much energy flow out, essentially, in the sound. And he is, really diving so much into that L on last in line. It's delightful. There's a lot of aggression in his tone at the same time as this wonderful generous warmth, which it's hard, it's mind boggling to me how he manages to have both of these. But the aggression there, he's able to attack that L with tons of energy, makes the word very, very clear but it also just is able to continue that line of aggression in a fantastic way. Same thing on line. Really gives a lot of love to those elves. sharp in there as well. It's great, it's exciting. It's done perfectly. chord progression at the end is totally unexpected. I am adoring every single moment he opens his mouth for little interjections of, of overflow of emotion, essentially. No, a little more. There we go. So they're hanging out, uh, essentially hanging out above where the tonic is. Harmonically speaking, the tonic is this, your home chord. At the very, very end, they get back to what feels like home, but because they were leering on, it sounded like I think the two for so long, it feels unsettled and I'm shocked they're drawing that out for such a long period of time and then settling into that root home feeling at the end. So that's hanging out above it. And now they go home. Thank you, thank you, thank you, good night, thank you. So if I'm not mistaken, 
This was filmed at the end of the performance, and he still sounds golden. He's even starting to get up there in years at this point. His voice is just in really great shape. He has so much ability to play, to make those consonants have energy and, and add bits of emotion at a whim. He just, he's a total singing god. I think he's incredible. And I love in this song how you got to really experience the changes in dynamics very clearly and appreciate all of the extra energy he put into those consonants. They were quite, quite delicious. Thank you, everybody, for this amazing recommendation. If you'd like to see more Dio videos, I have a ton of them, and they're all in this playlist. So enjoy. I hope you enjoy Dio as much as I do. I'll see you soon.